That very night, as we lay packed tight in our robes beneath the snow, and the dogs were fed, and the stars o'erhead were dancing heel and toe, he turned to me and... Cap, says he, I'll cash in this trip, I guess. And if I do, I'm asking that you won't refuse my last request. Well, he seemed so low that I couldn't say no. Then he says with a sort of moan, It's the cursed cold, and it's got right hold till I'm chilled clean through to the bone. Yet taint being dead, it's the fearful dread of the icy grave that pains. So I want you to swear that foul or fair, you'll cremate my last remains. Pal's last need is a thing to heed, so I swore I would not fail. And we started on at the streak of dawn, but God, he looked ghastly pale. He crouched on the sleigh and he raved all day of his home in Tennessee. And before nightfall, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. There wasn't a breath in that land of death, and I hurried horror-driven with a corpse half hid that I couldn't get rid because of a promise given. It was lashed to the sleigh and it seemed to say, you may tax your brawn and brains, but you promise true and it's up to you to cremate those last remains. Now a promise made is a debt unpaid and the trail has its own stern code. In the days to come, though my lips were dumb, in my heart how I cussed that load. Mush up! Mush up there! Till I came to the marge of Lake Labarge, and a derelict there lay. Jeez. It was jammed in the ice, but I saw in a trice it was called the Alice May. <laughs> and I looked at it, and I thought a bit, and I looked at my frozen chum. Then here, said I with a sudden cry, is my crematorium. Some planks I tore from the cabin floor, and I lit the boiler fire. Some coal I found that was lying around, and I heaped the fuel higher. The flames just soared, and the furnace roared, such a blaze you seldom see. And I buried a hole in the glowing coal, and I stuffed in Sam McGee. I do not know how long in the snow I wrestled with grisly fear, but the stars came out and they danced about ere again I ventured near. I was sick with dread, but I bravely said, I'll just take a peep inside. I guess he's cooked and it's time I looked. Then the door I opened wide. And there sat Sam, looking cool and calm in the heart of the furnace roar. And he wore a smile, you could see a mile, and he said, Please close that door. It's fine in here, but I greatly fear you'll let in the cold and storm. Since I left Plum Tree down in Tennessee, it's the first time I've been warm. <laughs> there are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have the secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake Labarge. I cremated Sam McGee. <laughs>